हेलो फ्रेंड वेलकम टू मेरी इंजीनियरिंग हब दिस इज नेटर चीफ इंजीनियर रवि गुप्ता टुडे वी गोइंग टॉक अबाउट सल्फर एमिशन सॉक्स एज पर रेगुलेशन 14 मार्पोल एनएक्स 6 इन टुडे वीडियो वी विल लर्न व्हाट आर द इंपैक्ट ऑफ सॉक्स एमिशन फॉलोड बाय वी विल सी व्हाट आर द प्रेजेंट सल्फर कैप ऑफ द सल्फर एमिशन फॉलोड बाय वी विल सी व्हाट हैपेन व्हेन वी डू द चेंज ओवर व्हाट आर द एमिशन कंट्रोल एरियाज followed by it, what are the development in technology we are doing to control the shocks and what are the other equivalence method compared to the shocks emission today video is going to be very interesting after watching the today whole video i guarantee you that your doubt regarding the shocks will be completed in a one stop solution marine engineering hub it will be beneficial for examination written oral interview whatever you go you can answer each and every question regarding socks marine engineering hub is a platform which make video like this and for that we need your encouragement so please encourage us by subscribing and by liking and by sharing our video if you want to have a direct interaction with me you can join our channel thank you friend let's start the today video so what is a socks so basically socks are the gases like sulfate sulfuric acid and al sulfide all are compared to the socks so sulfur dioxide is one of the socks gases which is harmful air pollutant so why marpol inducted socks gases in annex 6 the reason you can know here the first thing is that it has a environmental impact what environmental impact it causes acid rain the second is that it causes respiratory issues third it damages the ecosystem and fourth is damages the infrastructure by acidity so the problem of socks is too much in human health and environment and therefore the marpol annex 6 resolution 14 talks about the socks regulation of the emission now the overall impact is so big that the socks was inducted in marpol so that we can reduce the air pollution after reducing the air pollution our aim was to have a sustainable maritime practice sustainable maritime shipping all around the world so the marpol aim is to reduce the air pollution so that we can have sustainable maritime environment followed by the global impact of socks pollutant also getting reduced so these are all the importance of having marpol regulation 14 now what are the sulfur cap so at present there is two cap one is the global cap and one is the emission control area cap in globally you can now use only sulfur in fuel having 0.5% mbm but in emission control area you can only use sulfur in fuel having only 0.1% mbm so before it was 3.5% which were reduced to 0.5 globally in 2020 so now you can see this was a very large reduction in 2020 and therefore a separate chapter came which is called imo sulfur cap 2020 if you want to watch i have made the video in sulfur cap also i will keep the link in the description so now let's see how the self different sulfur cap came into existence so in 19 may 2005 the sulfur sulfur cap from 4.50 was reduced to 3.50 in 1st january 2012 so 19 may 2005 before that the sulfur cap was 4.50 after that it was reduced to 3.50 in 1st january 2012 after that it was reduced to 0.5 in 1st january 2020 so these i am talking about global sulfur cap means all around the world all around the world all around the world globally we are using this sulfur cap okay before 4.5 followed by 3.5.5 0.5. 
so basically you need to know the date these dates are important after that in the emission control area it was 1.50 which was reduced to 1% in 1st july 2010 followed by further reduction in 1st jan 2015 to 0.1% and now it is still 0.1% so this reduction you should know so by graphical diagram you can see 4.5 we came to 3.5 after that we came to 0.5 and here from 1.5 in emission control area we came to 1% followed by 0.1% so this is how drastically we came down from 3.5 to 0.5 in 2020 now emission control area what do you mean by emission control area these are the area which are sensitive to this pollutant more sensitive to the pollutant and therefore stricter rules and regulations are required these areas are baltic sea northern sea northern american areas and the us areas so this area you can see here this is the northern american area this is the united states and caribbean area this is the northern sea and this is the baltic sea so these four area is called emission control area as per SOX. Okay. Now, what do you mean by emission control area? So basically I have told you what do you mean by emission control area. But whenever you are entering an emission control area, you need to make sure that your system is fully flushed out. What do I mean by that? So it means that suppose you are entering from Here, suppose you are entering from Green Island to the European areas or you are coming to the USA. Now, when you are coming to the USA, at that time, if you are here, you are following global limit of 0.5. If you are here, you are following a global limit of 0.5. Okay. But if you are entering here, you have to follow a limit of 0.5 one so what i mean to say is that when you are traveling from here to here when you're traveling from here to here what you need to do is that you need to make sure that before entering your whole system is with 0.1 fuel oil so basically the system need to be fully flushed when you are entering into the emission control area it means you have to carry two different grade of oil 0.5 and 0.1 and after and before entering the 0.1% area you do need to make sure that complete changeover is completed and these are need to be recorded properly so basically if you are using a low sulfur fuel oil and you are entering inside the emission control area you should make an entry of date time and position when you have started the changeover and before entering the emission control area your changeover should complete and your change your procedure should be there on board because these all things the port inspector or the port authority will come and check and if they don't find that you have changed the complete change is not done before entry your ship can be detained and heavy fine can be imposed that is how important the sulfur conversion means the fuel oil conversion fuel oil change is okay so emission control area i have shown you here now let's see the compliance mechanism and enforcement so basically the post state authority verify that whether you are complying with the resolution 14 or not how they will verify they will take the fuel sample means there is a fuel sampling point near the generator near the main engine they will come and they will take and after that if they find any sulfur particles which is more than the required limit they will detain the vessel they will not allow the vessel to sail they will make them pay and after that the company depression will go very bad so it's very important for as a chief engineer as a second engineer or as a junior engineer you should know the importance of changeover after that the third thing is data reporting means the ship is now comp need to comply with rules and regulation of imo dcs which is called sim part 2 imo dcs which need to send to the imo every year from there you are getting a state of compliance and based on this they are they are calculating your carbon emission also so this much important is that change over and the sulfur in the fuel 
now now you know what are the harmful effect how much importance change over and now slowly slowly we are reducing the sulfur percentage so in order to comply the technological development is also in progress what are technological development they have come up with a system which is called scrubber system basically it's a system which looks like this which looks like this okay so basically whenever the sulfur which is present in a exhaust is clean using a scrubber tower there are different type of scrubber tower open loop closed loop hybrid scrubber these are different type of scrubber tower which are in use and each has got its advantages and disadvantages these are one of the technology by which the sulfur emission in the exhaust gas is been clean so that we get a cleaner emission if you want to know more please do comment below i will make a detailed video on each type of scrubber now the third question came what is the equivalence in nanex 6 so basically now i have told you one thing that if you are coming from global to the emission control area you need to do the complete change over now can you now here you are burning 0.5 here you are burning 0.1% of sulfur fuel here you are burning 0.5% of sulfur fuel but can you burn inside the emission control area 0.5% of fuel the answer is yes you can burn but how in order to burn the 0.5% of fuel you need to understand the concept of equivalence in annex 6 so equivalence means that if you have a system on board which is search that it makes sure that the even if you if you have sulfur fuel percentage 0.5 or more than 0.5 but your emission is complying with the imo carbon emission regulation then you can burn this sulfur fuel one more time i will tell you so what they are saying that this sulfur suppose you are you are burning 3.5 percentage of sulfur and the exhaust gas which is produced from here and now after passing through scrubber tower is coming from here now suppose as per regulation suppose the exhaust gas should have 15 particle like right? is absurd value suppose as per regulation there should be only 15 particle whenever you are emitting any exhaust gas now if you have a technology which can burn any type of pers- any type of fuel and still give this comply with this rules and regulation then you can were allowed to do it so that is the equivalence it means that if you are burning even high percentage of sulfur fuel but you are comply with the rules and regulation of marpol then you can given a equivalence certificate you can burn high percentage fuel even in the eka area but you have to comply with the emission norm what emission norm that what is the sulfur percentage what is the co2 percentage which is been emitted is within the rooms rules and regulation or not now so in these cases the exhaust gas is coming out is subject to continuous monitoring with the marpol regulation and if it is not complying the system will be shut down and you have to comply with the the regulation by switching to a different fuel okay now the equivalence means that you can burn higher sulfur fuel or you can burn lng or other type of fuel to comply with the regulation and they will be provided in your certificate now method which is being given equivalence should be approved by the imo it should be procedure should be written and it should clearly mention and how the testing is to be done it should also be known to the crew and exemption should be issued by the flag state now i have told you about the equivalence now suppose with the development in technology and with the stricter regulation the industry is coming up with a different technological development such as low sulfur fuel means instead of using heavy fuel oil they are switching to the mg type of fuel oil which is much more cleaner in nature second is the lng or lpg type of engine is coming which has got much lower sulfur and nox emission which is complying with their rules and regulation third is the use of bio 
type of fuel which is also known as renewable source of energy and hence it is very, very much now in famous in industry now what are the challenges which industries are facing so the industries are facing the first and biggest challenge is two one is the fuel ability means now with the stricter rules and regulations some port and some reason don't have the 0.5 fuel oil sulfur in that case what they will do they have to switch to the mgo type so the if the fuel is not available then that is the one of the problem which industry is facing second is the cost compliance the overall product cost is increasing because of the increase in the technological development installation cost of the technology like if you are installing a scrubber in a ship it will cause too much expensive and as the expensive thing is been installed it will overall impact the ship cost ship running cost so the fuel availability and the cost compliance are the two thing which are affecting the industry now if we say what are the highlights of the annex 6014 is that the fuel oil sample is checked from time to time if you enter the eka area to check whether you are complying with the rules and regulation or not the bunker delivery note are checked by the port authority to check whether you are complying with your, whether you are compliant fuel or not after that if you are using scrubber tower or other technology then equivalent certificate are checked okay if you are using low sulfur fuel oil then the sulfur percentage will be checked if you are having assumption that that thing also be checked so the main conclusion of the regulation 14 is that the whole regulation has been bought because for the environmental protection to protect the environmental environment we have come up with a more stricter and stricter regulation and we have reduced the sulfur globally to a limit of 0.5 m by m and eka area we have reduced to 0.1 m by m which has led to the transformation in the industry because we are shifting to a sustainable shipping and this all thing is been possible because of the shipping industry collaboration along with the port authority along with the regional authority so this is the main thing of the sulfur emission now friend if you want me to make the video on this other type of fuel technology or if you want to make me video of the other type of scrubber tower then please do comment below if you like the video then please do subscribe and please share our video friends we have put lot of effort in making the video please like us please subscribe the channel and please share our video thank you friend